I kind of want to touch base on that sign though, that that infamous sign, because I mean, like you were talking about with the with the grocery store incident. Um, I mean, if they had a sign posted there, he, he obviously didn't listen to the sign. Um, and I know where I'm at. I don't. I can't speak for everywhere because I don't know the laws of everywhere. But where I'm at, as far as uh, the infamous sign, the no concealed weapons sign, unless it's a federal building. Um, but besides that, um, it's it's basically just. Um, it's really a civil trespassing. matter. Yeah, it's it's trespassing. Now here's mm-hmm. the risk that you know I think most people or a, a good chunk of people that conceal and carry are willing to take is their trespass, which basically all they're going to do is they're just going to ask you to leave. If you fail to leave after that, then it's trespassing, and that's whenever right. you start getting into problems. But if you're if you're willing to you know have someone say, hey, can you please leave my store? Ah, there's no guns allowed, and and you so- comply with that, then you're good. Well, and you, you rock on. You say, you know, I don't want to give you my money. I'll go give money to someone else because, let's face it, is there one store or is there any place in the world that doesn't have competition except for, you know, the federal government? Um, no. Well, I really like that store. Okay, rock on. You really like that store. Do they have competition? Well, yeah. Well, go give the money to their competition. Uh, and. As far as the signs go, when, when, when it comes to the legality, I know that, that uh, every state that I've lived in that's had concealed carry laws and, you know, they write into the law, oh, but if you're a business owner and you want to put up a sign, it, the sign has to be configured a very, very specific way. Yep. You can't just put up anything. And it has to be within so many feet of the entrance and blah, 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 visibly, you know, it has to be visible. Like this grocery store, this is the crazy thing of the, the grocery store incident. They had a sign. Apparently, the deranged ex-husband with the shotgun and the pistol didn't see the sign. Uh, you mean signs don't keep people safe? Oh, no, they don't. Um, in, in Mississippi, they have, it, it, it's kind of, well, that's a little strange. They have a basic concealed carry permit that anybody who's a, uh, a citizen of the state is eligible for. And then they also have what they call the enhanced concealed carry. And if you have an enhanced concealed carry, you have to take a minimum of eight hours training by a certified instructor, which we do here at our school. And uh, it essentially, it's a I could ignore that sign permit is what it is. <laughs> uh, and, and you know, and it just it basically you're right. It simply becomes a civil matter. Like if they're that you know adamant about like I think there's a bump under your shirt that may be a gun, and I want you to leave my store. Like, okay, bye. Uh, and the only places you can't go to are, you know, basically uh, law enforcement or federal secure areas inside of a courtroom in session, inside of a, you know, inside of the the prisoner area of a jail and so forth. I mean, you can even go to the pick, you know, uh, your local airport. You can go pick up your Uncle Fred from his business trip and have your gun on you. And as long as you don't try and enter the secure area of the airport, you're good to go uh, as far as a legal standpoint is concerned. So, um I like to say that I rarely see those signs, and I, I, was, I often chuckle because you know some of the businesses they don't want to put up the the ugly generic sign because it just it doesn't match the decor of the business. So they'll go out and they'll have a, a professional sign maker make like a shiny brass placard with a you know the picture of a gun and the no symbol around it. And they'll just put that up and they think they're good. Now I laugh at them because I'm like yeah I'm glad that you put that up there for, from a legal standpoint. It holds no water. It has no bearing uh, on criminality or lack of criminality. It's just, you know, you're you're afraid of guns. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Now uh, let's backtrack a little bit uh, back to the Walmart incident. Um, you were saying that I, I guess he was taking it, you know, off and putting it back on when he was in the car or something like that, and and they saw it. Yeah, that's well. That's the story. I read the story. Uh, I read a story on. Uh, I think it was on BearingArms.com. It, it's been all over the place, but Bearing Arms story I, I read, and it's apparently the guy got out of his out of his vehicle, was standing next to his vehicle, reached in, put it in his holster, covered it up, and proceeded to walk into the store. And that's where the guy saw him because they, the guy who tackled him admitted that he saw him in the parking lot and saw him had a, that he had a gun and followed him from the parking lot into the store, which is on so many levels. So ridiculously stupid it's like uh, number one so you're in the parking lot with this guy where it's probably if you had to take down a, a legitimate bad guy you probably want to do it away from all the innocent children and women and people so knucklehead waits until they're inside of the store where it's crowded where there's lots of people around uh, you know where there's, there's there's if you watch the video there's like a little kid who walks through the security video he thinks 
that will be the good time to get into a tussle with this dude. Yeah, at the um, end of the video, did you actually see the the child that hid behind the uh, the trash can? Yeah, the child's like, "Whoa, what's going on?" And uh, and <laughs> you know, folks, we, and you doing stuff like that, you're like, "Oh, but." We can't risk another Sandy Hook, or we can't risk another this, or risk another that. Okay, I'm with you. There's this whole thing called intent, moron. Oh, having a gun on you is not a crime. Kind of, maybe we need, maybe we need to do uh, like the skateboarder thing. Remember the thing from the '90s that skateboard skating is not a crime. Right. Maybe we need, you know, carrying is not a crime. Oh, uh, and and. I don't know what this 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 would be hero guy's background is. I'm going to say that he's woefully ignorant of, of the law, and you know basically put everyone in jeopardy, uh, everyone who's around in jeopardy by doing that, in, including the life of an innocent person who all he did was get up and and move about his day. You know, going to go do some shopping, and this guy attacks him.